Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a quick review for Lila's Tale and the Hidden Forest on Xbox. Now this was released today the 24th of March 2023. Now it's developed by Naptime Games and we were lucky enough to be sent a copy by the publisher Cubic Games for this video review so big thank you to them for that. Now this game sees you play as a uh, a girl called Leela with her like animal companion Flea as you have to basically discover the secrets of the hidden forest of Solaria including its woods, desert and frozen mountains. In the game which is a 2D platformer inspired by sort of classic platforming games you'll have to uh, make your way through a variety of different environments and levels, join forces with the forest animals to defeat all the enemies and free in your trapped animal friends at the end of these the missions. Now, Leela has her companion flea and they work together in a variety of ways using magic powers. So, one, flea can fire these like magic balls at enemies and they can kill them and stuff like that. And you can also use flea to help you glide across um, larger gaps and that really reminded me of the um, Aladdin SNES game where you had the carpet and you used that to glide not exactly the same but it definitely reminded me of it now this game also features two player as well so you can play this in co-op on um, couch co-op and if you play as the second player you play as her brother Lucas and he has his own little animal friend as well which is a bat but the, the gameplay mechanics are still the same now, as you work your way through these levels, there are a variety of things to collect, including um, feathers, which help you get a higher score. And there's so many feathers in each level to collect. There's also magical owl eggs to find. Now, if you find all of these eggs in each level, at the end of each of the level, like the worlds, you will unlock a new costume for your character as well, which is nice. And these eggs are normally found as you progress through the level you sometimes have to find like hidden passages and secret areas and stuff to find them or complete like little mini games and stuff um, that are hidden throughout the levels to get these eggs but once you get them all like I say it does give you a little reward now at the end of each of the worlds as well there are boss stages these are very much classic platforming boss stages where you have to avoid like a larger boss's attack pattern then you've got to like jump on them or hit them with your like projectiles then avoid their attack loops again onwards 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 until you defeat the boss now the game itself is fun it features like nice sort of hand-drawn-esque looking um, environments and characters and it's got nice music the gameplay isn't super difficult it's clearly aimed at the younger audience it's aimed at younger children maybe playing with the parents stuff like that hence the two-player co-op so adults will not really have any trouble playing this game and children probably won't be super um, stuck at any point in the game. It's not a really difficult game. There's checkpoints throughout the levels and there isn't a life system. So if you do die, you just either go back to the checkpoint or the beginning of the level and you can keep trying until you get to the end. There's also interactable items in the levels. Like there's a section where you can, you're on a magic carpet. There's one where you're riding like a bird to get to different places. So it's, it's a nice little game, it's a little short, there isn't a lot to it, you'll probably get through it within two hours. But the core gameplay is fun and simple to use, it has a little bit of collecting to get you into it. So yeah, if you're looking for a nice simple platformer that you can play with your kids, I definitely recommend this one because it's priced at £4.19. However, it's on sale for £3.35 for the next nine days, like a launch discount, so... If you're interested, pick it up. Whilst there isn't a lot of levels, a lot of the achievements are linked to doing certain things, so you have a reason to go back into the other levels to try and get these achievements completed. And they're not even super hard, but it's just like, finish a level without defeating any enemies, do something in this level, do this, etc, etc, etc. Complete bonus stages, all that sort of stuff. So it gives you a reason to go back in and replay them. Now the game's also available on Nintendo Switch and PC, so definitely check it out. 
and thank you very much for watching this video guys if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button please hit subscribe and we'll see you very soon for more gaming content other than that bye for now